I know someone asked questions why we uh, need to work on cell phone or smartphone apps uh, development and, and uh, sensor networks. Do you know why? Yeah, that is the current and future. Have you heard of uh, the keyword, uh, not uh, cloud? Cloud computing is, uh, has been uh, so popular last uh, a decade, or well, a little shorter, but now uh, cloud computing is uh, the, the frame platform for solving uh, cloud computing is, is the main frame. I mean, at, at least that is a uh, solver, right? So we call that cloud. But there is another term called Fog, not cloud, but fog. Have you heard of that uh, fog computing? F O G, fog, fog computing. Find out fog computing from your Google. Then uh, it is already uh, uh, available. So can you see the difference between cloud and fog? Pishinu. How can you uh, compare uh, fog from cloud in general? I mean, from your uh, uh, simple understanding in nature. Cloud is up in the sky, right? What about the fog? Fog is around us. Can you feel the cloud? No, but you know there's a big junk of something up in the sky. Can you feel fog? Many times, right? We feel fog. Feel fog. Uh, similarly, if we if we attach uh, the computing to those two keywords. Cloud computing then, we know there is a something big, uh, but we don't feel it much. But if we attach computing to fog, then we may expect that, oh, there's a, some computing so that uh, that is available surrounding us. And definitely, definitely we may be able to feel it, right? You see the difference, right? So that is a fog computing. If it is uh, the difference, then what would be the platform for your fog computing? Yeah, your smartphone. How much is your smartphone can do? So much of things, but not big computing, but small computing, but but everyone can do. That is, the, that is a big thing, right? Cloud computing, that's a big junk, big chunk, not junk, big things up in the sky. But it, it is far away. But fog computing, it's just, you already have. But that's just something that you can do. Something that you can benefit from. That's a fog computing. Therefore, instead of a cloud computing, we put M in front of a cloud computing. What it would be? M stands for? So MCC. CC stands for cloud computing. M. Mobile. Mobile cloud computing. You can... Uh, if your smartphone becomes stronger, stronger, and uh, more powerful, more powerful in the future, then current, uh, pow current clouding computing power will be your next uh, uh, 
smartphone is being powered, right? So MCC is another uh, new terminology. You can find it from Google, then MCC stands for many, but one of them is uh, a mobile cloud computing. Not only that, one more. Similar to MCC, but the middle C will be replaced with the E. So MEC. Can anyone guess what we mean by E, MEC? It's not Mac, but it's Mac, <laughs> MEC. MEC computing. But if you hear the full name, then you, you may feel quick what it means. Did you, did you find out? Yeah. What is it? Mobile edge computing. See? Mobile edge computing. Mobile edge computing. It means something very clear, right? Although we do not know yet clearly, but if you hear mobile, mobile edge computing, then the, each every single mobile phone will be uh, an edge of uh, entire computing. And, and each every single mobile phone is connected with others. So virtually, not yet uh, realistic, but virtually, they could be in one big computing power because they can talk. Then guess what? Security issues. Threats that we feel currently really still still uh, uh, enormously big and sometimes undeterministic sometimes unpredictable but if it is in MEC mobile edge computing then a lot more threats right and type of threats uh, not necessarily the same as current uh, cyber security, cyber threats, a lot more. Maybe that it'll be a uh, mobile edge threat, <laughs> mobile edge threats. So your smartphone is not anymore uh, something benefit to you, but your smartphone itself will be a Not really clear yet, but <clears throat> it'll come soon, right? So what is our preparation? We need to know development scheme. Without knowing uh, uh, the system's uh, development, how uh, that system is implemented, then, then we cannot uh, it, we cannot defend it. And we cannot attack it. <laughs> if we want to attack. Alright, so that is that is the reason that uh, we uh, need to study. Okay. Uh, if you, you miss some part, so you can Watch. <laughs> I'm watching, but I need to watch him because he has an accent. If, if we're doing coding and this stuff. No, 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 no. We mentioned something else. Oh, sorry. That's oh, okay. Okay. So, project. Um, so, we're going to do, uh, we're jumping to uh, the project today. Okay. Uh, and a little bit of a playground. Start with the playground. 
So what you need to do, uh, if you open uh, Xcode, then then we need to uh, the project, so application projects. See here, uh, single view application. That's what we need to do. Option, when you create a new project, now just just listen and, and feel uh, what it would be. We need to practice a little later. Okay, uh, it asks you to and ask for you to enter uh, a product name and and also organization name. Here, uh, if whatever you type here, then organization identifier is automatically formed in this way. Com dot sum. So if you hear yun dot uh, next, then uh, the identifier of your organization will be com dot yun dot next. In real uh, URL, therefore, will be next dot yun dot com, right? In real this way. Language uh, by default. Xcode gives you Swift, so do not change it. Unless you really need to do Objective-C, then you can change it to Objective-C and then do some, okay? Uh, this Xcode and Swift, Swift uh, improved a lot. Uh, uh, if I compare the features and language based upon the language that we used the last year, last year ago. The language evolves uh, quickly and also uh, <coughs> in very intelligent way, believe me. Okay. When, I, when I prepare this lecture for this semester, uh, almost all the applications that we developed cannot be migrated to the new uh, Xcode. Cannot? Cannot. So language itself uh, uh, upgraded. It's not just a uh, performance improvement, but language itself. Let me give you an example. You may understand it quickly. Last year, let's say 50% of a new language, which is a Swift, still uh, the iPhone apps developers uses uh, uh, the code available in and built-in uh, Objective-C. Now this year, more portion written in Swift itself and a little less portion still remains in Objective-C. Maybe next year, oh. more Swift, more Swift. In the future, all in Swift. So something that we built last year uh, when I call some function, last year the language expected three parameters, but this year one parameter. So that the one that we developed last year no longer. I have a lot, I have about 10 uh, apps developed uh, last year while I was preparing uh, the course. Uh, Everything for this semester is brand new. Like full apps or just prototypes? You don't develop like um, I developed one uh, full app, which is, I believe it is good. I explained that a uh, couple of uh, uh, classes ago, right? So some of the students says, I explained it very nicely. And I, I said, oh, I, I, I was proud of it uh, because it is so intelligent and and it's pendable. Um, Jurika, back to you. Uh, I use a lot of uh, RESTful uh, server uh, so that uh, uh, users simply enter uh, a URL. Okay, for example, www.mercy.edu. Then uh, my program, grab uh, mercy and then find out uh, Mercy website. Uh, it is a Mercy website. Mercy, uh, for example, location, and Mercy web server developer, 
and go to that uh, location and then uh, display uh, uh, points of interest in that city. Simply, oh. simply link to, for example, uh, what is uh, Wiki? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, link to Wiki. So find out the uh, uh, find that location and go to that uh, and link to that uh, uh, wiki. And then if if that uh, URL uh, related with the company, then find out the full name of a company and show company's uh, uh, web server. And then with that company name, we need to go to uh, uh, stock uh, markets and find out the uh, symbol of the stock uh, if it is uh, uh, filed. For example, if it is Google, google.com, then uh, stock symbol is G-O-O-G. -O -O -G. Okay? Once it is found, then uh, go to Google uh, stock uh, price and trends. We do not need to develop all, but we can simply link it once we find it. But they are all now disconnected, so that some disconnected points uh, are linked by my app. You could do that. Uh, when I explained this uh, many times to many people, they all their response is, is, is always the same. Oh yeah, that is interesting. <laughs> then who will buy it? <laughs> okay, that is the problem, right? So Jurika, uh, just minutes ago, uh, he started from a good business models. So if you if you think like good business models, and then from there uh, invent uh, some interesting uh, smartphone app, then you will have some customer. Not the other way. I started from the technology to see if anything that I can tweak so that uh, I might have some customers. We may not, right? But if we start from business model, business side, then, then, uh, then you may get some. By the end of this uh, semester, if you find some good uh, uh, app development, believe it or not, uh, Swift app development is, is really easy and quick. But one thing that you have to uh, remember, that it cannot be obtained uh, with no effort. You have to put big effort, you have to invest a great amount of your time, then you will get it. Okay? Question, anyone? Yes. Uh, if you get an app here and it works, for example, is it Mercy College property or like owned by Mercy College or owned by us, for example, by the What are the rules there? I do not know, but uh, if if you say, "Oh, I got it from a class, Mercy class," then and no. if and and if Mercy uh, uh, filed the lawsuit, then there may be some problem. No, so don't like, don't say that. No, no, no. I'm saying like in the fact technically that, in the budget that we have for this class, I want to do an app, for example, but an app that I thought it before, I wanted to do it, you know. But why not start it in the, in, in the class while we have like the okay. other project? But if I'm finished uh, a year after I finish class, I finish the app and I put it in the market and it sounds good. Right. Uh, uh, it, usually, it, usually, for example, uh, let me uh, answer in this way. I do not know the case with the students, but the faculty member, for example, if I develop some because the faculty is, when uh, the Mercy College hires faculty members, then 
They do not hire faculty members for eight hours per day, only, only partial uh, intellectual property. They hire the faculty, everything about, uh, about he or she knows, right? All the skills that he has. If, if the skills related with uh, the disciplines uh, that uh, the college uh, targeted. It's not like, uh, oh, I, I have good uh, skill of fishing, cat, uh, catching fishes. Uh, it's nothing to do with uh, my uh, cybersecurity or computer science, right? Uh, but if I do, uh, for example, some programming uh, skills, then definitely it is related with my disciplines or my uh, expertise. And, and uh, the college hires me because I have that skills, right? In that case, if I develop some, good, right? And, and from there, if I uh, found a company and company uh, uh, on big money, if that is known by the college, the college filed a lawsuit. To avoid that, what we need to do is that we joint 50-50. So college, it is agreement. College invest on the finalizing of uh, the product because this is just prototyping, right? Yeah. It's not commercialized. Yeah. Then college should uh, pay for commercialization because the idea is already invented then there's a joint ownership and profit can be shared, right? It's not just uh, they take, oh, it's mine. Colleagues don't do that. And faculty should not do also, oh, everything is mine. Somehow, there's uh, some gray areas so that they need to uh, put extra efforts and, and some contribution together in order to make it commercial. But for students, uh, really, really uh, not really clearly defined, and and also students pay uh, the tuition, right? Yeah. So so uh, it's not the case like between faculty and college. So student and college is, is a little different. Somehow you purchase skills and knowledge from college, although you don't pay directly to me, but although I bring uh, more money-wise, more valuable dollar to our students so that they pay me more, no, it's not, right? Uh, for example, some other disciplines like a history, right? History, then, oh, everyone can gather uh, historical facts and knowledge, uh, not necessarily from the faculty, but from other faculties or from internet or from, uh, by reading books. Uh, everything is available, but, so it is not brand new. It is not just unique. It is not, right? But technical side, uh, sometimes you don't get the same similar or same or similar things from anywhere else uh, but from me that's that may be possible right but still they treat uh, uniform but anyway so device and, and another another button that you have to click uh, device iPhone there if you want to develop your uh, Swift programs for iPad, for example, or ITV. There are three kinds of uh, uh, devices sharing uh, the same development. iPhone, iPad, and ITV. I've never seen ITV. It's not hard. Huh? It's not hard. It's I'm not sure, it is, is it hardware or? No, it's a TV. It's going to be a TV. Is it like, like TV? Real yeah, TV? it's going to be like a TV like that, you know? Oh. 
Oh, but, you know, like LG has, but it has Google interface, you know, so you can search online, uh, you can watch YouTube and everything on it, download programs. But that, uh, ITV is going to be like a television, like the Apple box, you know that Apple TV, the, the small thing? Like that, but it's going to be implemented in this company. Real, real, real. Like real, Samsung would make Real, TVs. real TV, right? Yeah, real TV, like Samsung. The small TVs. Okay. So if you want to, you can develop uh, ITV, and then you'll be the first one to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, the the app. No, I'm just saying. ITV app. You want to you want to test it, right? Oh, you can test it here. This is an emulator here. Uh, Even what's that? Even if you do Apple TV, instead of iPhone. I've never tried, but. Oh, that's <laughs> why I wanted tried. to ask because I was when I first started with this class with you, I went on uh, Google to obviously research a little bit more about Swift. There are like playgrounds for iPads and making apps. You see everything on the side, not like just the numbers, for example. You see, let's say, I don't know, if you make figures. Yeah, I saw it. I saw you it. See everything. I saw it. Okay. Even in, in, in Mac, I saw it. In Swift 3, even in Mac, in, in, I mean, Apple website, you have the Swift 3 for Mac. That's why I asked you for Mac and for iPad. And I think it works in iPad too. Like, you can develop it is, but, uh, but, I, the, uh, but you were asking about the development. Yeah, but the development, <laughs> I think it works Probably not. on iPad. Too. Yeah, we cannot develop uh, apps on iTV even, even if it is available. <laughs> right? No, no, I'm saying on the iPad. Yeah, same I saw thing. It for iPad. Yeah, I, iPad is is more prone to uh, demonstration or, or visualization, not uh, not for coding. And then uh, another thing is the use of core data and, and some others. Uh, uh, you can leave it. Uh, I think by default. It is checked. You can you can live with it, but uh, it takes uh, some of the resources, so you don't need to. Okay. Uh, once you launch uh, the projects, then see here, upper corner. Um, this is the developer environment. So if you see these windows, then you can simply uh, figure out in this way, the left pane is called the navigator pane, so that you can see all uh, the folders hierarchy. And right end, there is a utility pane so that in the utility pane you have an attribute uh, inspector uh, and in the bottom here on the on the right pane can be split into two so low right corner of entire window like this and then there is a library pane uh, in this library pane, you will have uh, all kinds of uh, uh, graphical components. Graphical components. Like uh, in Python, for example, that's, that's what we did uh, uh, a few minutes ago. If you have a canvas and frame, then that type of things uh, already available on this lower uh, right corner. It is not exactly the same, but uh, very similar to that, but a lot more powerful. Um, so in this, in the middle, it's called the editor pane. In this editor pane, uh, you can edit the code. You can also uh, uh, draw or, or organize storyboard it is called the storyboard so what you can organize uh, here on this storyboard 
by bringing uh, some of these uh, graphical components so that you can drag and drop here so that you can have, for example, labels and text fields, a button, and so on and so forth. Okay. And then uh, the lower bottom of this middle, then you can have uh, output or debugger here. And instead of this storyboard, you could have a real coding, coding file. So, uh, and when you have this uh, storyboard on the left side, then you have uh, all the names of uh, that uh, graphical components which is available here. They name all those. So either you click a specific uh, uh, graphic components here, or you can click instead here the name. Sometimes this is much better uh, rather than uh, clicking some components here if uh, uh, one of the screen of your apps is very busy then uh, then you better click this. So we will see that. And in the uh, navigation pane, pane here in the navigation pane, you, you will have a uh, uh, structure of files. Usually, uh, we have a storyboard, which is uh, uh, the board that you can um, organize uh, graphical components. And that uh, graphical components are controlled by controller. So this graphical components other components to visual to be visualized so there is nothing but view so either storyboard or or view board but they call it storyboard something that we can see but internally you need to control those right so that is called the view controller and if there is a, uh, some uh, additional code is available, which is app delegates. Those who understand uh, Java, if you know Java, then uh, delegates uh, program is very similar to uh, interface program. You know that interface in Java? Very similar to interface. Interface is like uh, blueprints. There's no implementation. Very similar to uh, your superclass, for example. But if you have a superclass and subclass, then everything can be inherited. If you have a, a interface and class that uh, relations, then interface gives you very, very uh, simple uh, skeleton only only the name of uh, function for example there's no implementation that is defined in uh, in interface that is very similar to the delegate okay it's nothing but uh, interface so those who are all familiar with uh, not really necessarily familiar those who learned uh, Java, then definitely you should know interface, and that is a similar to interface. Uh, another file available in that uh, navigator pane is asset dot uh, something. If you want to save some of the images that may be used by this uh, your uh, app, then usually uh, some assets, digital assets. Uh, can be located here. Okay. 
storyboard uh, uh, some of the line yeah uh, when you see some storyboard so that uh, you uh, drag and drop some components somehow you need to uh, add some of the constraints so that those components cannot be uh, messed up that type of things uh, will be done in this uh, label and alignment okay so in general in general iPhone apps has a design pattern which is called the MVC most MVP stands for most valuable player what is it MVP yeah it's not it has nothing to do with the MVP most valuable computer M for model V for view, C for control. See here, all acron acronym. Model is, is like a database, like data container. There's a model. View is something that you can see from your screen. That is a view. Controller, there's a real code. Like engine. They should all, all work together. So for example, here if you see the navigation, uh, navigator pane, left to end, then you will have a view controller, you have a, a view uh, main dot storyboard, and then assets. This is kind of a model, it's not really exactly, but uh, you can see that way so m and this is a view this is a c c for control so mbc pattern uh, so let's try uh, the first uh, simple apps development This is a very It's very hard to increase this is not the code that you, you are going to do okay so uh, you cannot see that here but when I click this hold on. when I click this and come back Let me bring this to back end. Oh, then I can see. Uh, you cannot see it uh, from this, but uh, I have another Windows. There. Can I show that? If you have an Xcode, right now uh, on your monitor, you, you don't see it, but in another uh, real uh, uh, the screen, then you can you have an Xcode. If you once you launch uh, Xcode, then then there is a top menu from Xcode, and then next there is a file. 
uh, on the file menu there is a new and then project click on the project then you will have first you launch then you will have this right if you do not have so if you click the Xcode the first time then I think you will have this or something else let me let me cancel this and, and oh, yeah, go from the beginning okay oh yeah there's a something else so I'm going to I'm going to start from there I think that is let me open one more time from my application once you download it uh, and install it correctly then you can see click on Xcode oh it's not the same as that let me close this Let me close, quit completely. I quit the program completely. So that launch X code. Okay, I think this is what you have, right? So once you develop some, then you can have a list of those. Uh, and last few weeks, we worked on this uh, playground. But today, we'll do uh, create new Xcode project. OK? So this is something. So I click that new Xcode project. Then you will have this. This is something that I showed to you a minute ago, right? And then. If you see here on top, there's iOS, and next one is Watch OS, your watch, and then TV OS, Mac, cross platform, but we don't do that here, but iOS. If you click iOS, then there's an application, single view, some game, master detail application. Uh, page-based application, tab-based application, and uh, sticker pack application, iMessage application. You can you can uh, stick to some of the pre-organized uh, application if you want to do tab tab the base tab the base. Some of the on top tab or uh, page based. You may start with this, but uh, in this class, we'll do a single view application. Okay, this is this is most common. Uh, you can from here you can also go to that end. From your single view, you can uh, make another uh, navigation view. Uh, so the multiple pages can be connected to that view starting from the single view. The others uh, uh, page based application then a uh, little bit pre-planned if you want to. So we don't do that in this class. We simply start from the scratch that is a single view application. And then click on next then project name. Here you need to uh, say something. Okay. So what do you want to do? Uh, hello world. Or you can do echo. My echo. And then organization name. Yun X to Yun Yun next to X to you can name it. Okay. If you type some then it'll be com dot your name. And then a bundle identifier, your app can be identified by 
myecho.unext.com but written uh, in reverse here and language swift uh, if you click this then uh, another language possibly available is objective c of course we do not use that and device iphone or ipad or universal so we use uh, iphone and then uh three items to be clicked but uh, we do not need to click any and then click next button all right here it tells you where you want to save yours okay so if you want to save yours uh, here my in my case I O uh, iOS apps which is in the directory here right but you can you can specify if you want okay so locate uh, the location of uh, the folder that you want to save in your file your, your file is my echo oh, here what is the name of that name is name doesn't appear here that's okay so create then uh, if you bring your binder, okay, binder and the I iOS app, then my echo appears here. Just today, 7.16 p.m., right? And let me explain this. Where is my mouse? Uh, navigator pane if you click this uh, <clears throat> the first uh, icon show project navigator so uh, under my echo and there's my echo uh, folder and product folder what we need to develop Hours. In this folder, we have uh, multiple files available. Anything dot Swift is is a code. Usually, app delegate dot Swift. It is already given, so you do not need to do anything. But uh, this is like interface, which means there's no implementation at all, right? But it gives you some uh, uh, skeleton view control this is a code that we have to work on if you see the view control the coding list um, there's a header automatically it gives you your name and then uh, dates that it is developed and it says a copyright so already uh, a copyright statement written automatically and after that first the thing that you need to do is the import UI kit UI stands for user interface so user interface kit should be imported like uh, in Python TI enter, 
tick tick into tick into uh you should import it it's not uh provided provided by default same thing here so i mean ui kit is uh, is always uh, uh needed but but we import it and then if you see here there's a class class definition some of you uh, once hate uh, Java programming then you may hate uh, again here because it starts with the class but uh, class definition and all the class uh, things uh, are provided by Swift is, is much easier and sometimes you don't need to <coughs> worry about it much okay but anyway this is object-oriented uh, programming so we would somehow uh, need to look at if you see here class <coughs> then this is a class name view controller <coughs> and colon and UIV controller can anyone guess what does this means oops all together from here something about left side and right side uh, based upon this color Color. We have it here colon, left side we have view, uh, view controller, right side UI view controller. Oh, the view controller is just a UIV controller is indeed called the type. But in objective oriented paradigm, um, the, uh, UIV, UI view controller is a super class, and uh, view controller is a subclass. So, type of a UI uh, a view controller is UI view controller. So you can understand uh, in either way or both ways, fine. So what is the what is the class name? View controller. That's a class. The class is a view controller. View controller has two functions. Func view of uh, view uh, did load. Func did receive. Uh, memory warning DID DID is, is like uh, the path tense of uh, do it's very, very funny uh, name which means uh, if if uh, view is loaded what are you going to do if you want to do something as that view is loaded then everything should be implemented here inside if anything that uh, receive uh, uh, memory warnings so that if you want to control and manage a service based upon memory warning then then you need to implement something here but we don't do we don't touch this throughout this class whole but we touch this view did load uh, another here, another file on your navigator, there is a main.storyboard. If you click main.storyboard, uh, then you have a little bit uh, divider, but left side uh, gives you uh, all the components of uh, uh, this. Uh, storyboard this view already it has a view controller see here view controller that is the title here view controller and then first responder and exit it has uh, something 
view controller seat annotation. This is a first uh, responder, and this is exit. That button is given, right? Uh, usually. So this is a view controller for that. This, if you click this, then as you click here, this is the same as click here. As I said, if if you put some of the components uh, in this storyboard, uh, and this storyboard uh, becomes full of components, then it's very hard to uh, click uh, precisely. Then you need to come back here to click this, because this is a full list in hierarchical order, so that you can see it. Okay. If I click X, exit, then exit button is clicked. If I click this exit uh, icon, then that is clicked also. That is the beauty of this. Okay. Uh, if you click this, for example, view controller, then you can see here on the right side, something appears, right? If you click uh, first responder, then uh, something appears here. Uh, and so on and so forth. But usually, uh, view controller uh, on the right pane. If you see right pane, then there is a, a, a some icons, right? This icon is currently clicked. That is uh, uh, attribute inspector. This uh, down arrow and something, right? As attribute inspector, so that it uh, uh, will work on some of this. Uh, this is called uh, uh, identity inspector. So if you if we want to change it, this rather than a view controller, if you want to say something else, see here class name view controller, then we you may, okay? But usually you don't need to. Another thing. Uh, bottom, then you have uh, again uh, some utilities available, uh, and on top of this small corner, uh, some icons. Right? Currently, uh, this uh, object object library appears, so that you can see more and more. Right? Uh, some of the things that you have seen uh, in your, on your iPhone, for example, uh, label and button, those are uh, what we want to see. And then uh, segment the controller or slide bar, like a slider. You can use it. Uh, switch left and right, so on and off and activity identifier view. If something is downloaded, then uh, that shape, this shape is, uh, for example, if you, how, how do you bring this? Then you can cl click, drag and drop, and, and drop here. For example, switch. So switch is where? Switch is under, under view controller, and there is a view under the view, right? That is that is what it is. So you can delete it. So it is on click. Right now you just drag and drop so that you can, if you do not like, then you can uh, press delete button. So it will be deleted. At this phase. But as this program, uh, this storyboard becomes compl complicated, so one component is is associated with others. They are uh, very related one to another. But if you simply click here on uh, the storyboard, then then your program will be messed up. Somehow, it's not going to work. It's not going to run. 
Don't be afraid. Don't be uh, frustrated even if it is not working. Your entire program remains good only only that portion. So, so, so if you fix that, if you clean up any interaction with the, that components, then it will work. But anyway, guess. It's very hard to fix once, once you uh, accidentally delete uh, uh, graphical components. If it's a standalone, then you can delete it. But if that components uh, communicate with communicate with the others, then 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 you need to if you delete it, then you, you need to delete all the relations. Uh, usually we can we can search here some of the components for example label then uh, the bottom right end there is a text uh, field there you can put, for example, label. Then I type L-A-B-E so that you can, we can see the label already, right? So bring that label here. And then if you click here, uh, inspector, And then text is plain text. Oh, thank you. And then if you want to uh, increase uh, the font size, then you can do that also. It's a bigger, right? If you want to make it bigger, then you can extend it so that it can be big. Uh, and name of that, you can change it not label but you can say uh, enter your name okay so that is also possible it's kind of a number when you do PHP yeah okay if you make it smaller, then you can do also smaller. This is the big one. And if you want to do a text filter, type text, then there's a text field, right? So bring that. And up here, okay. And then you can make it a little bigger. All right. And come back here, type button. Then we have a button here. So bring that button somewhere here. And then you can inspect. Uh, attribute uh, inspector uh, name is a button then you can simply say echo right and then text color if you want to change text color to some other color which color do you like pink uh, red uh, red red mm -hmm. red here Red and shadow, a little bit of shadow. Can you do the background? Color the background? I think so. Background uh, here. Like not, not on, the, on the button, but the whole background screen. Oh, yeah. That's. Uh, oh, yeah. Everything's possible. It's a tool, GUI, that you 
Right. If you do, if you do that, view. Uh, here, there's a view inspector. There's a background, so that you can see. Is this kind of similar to the PHP tapping? Oh no, not not really. Not really similar to when we did PHP. PHP, we could have uh, remember uh, undergrad. We did two pages, one or two page seven. Or you use the, some of the, uh, uh, the tools uh, no, to generate? No, school tools. Remember you told us to check with these schools? And then I built a website that we built mm -hmm. typing. Did you take it from me? What? The website uh, administrator? Plus? Yeah. It's a long time ago. Yeah. Undergrad. Wow. Yeah. I haven't taught the uh, last, uh, I think, five years. No, no, no. Maybe uh, three years or four, four years. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe that that time was my last yeah. last semester uh, uh, it was, uh, uh, four, I think it was uh, 471 or something like that. I don't know how. Okay. It yeah, like this. Uh, the background can be changed. How how did I change this? Because I do not know this. Then uh, entire is called the view, right? So click view and come back here, attribute uh, inspector. So I change this background. Mm -hmm. uh, this particular, come back here. Uh, text color is red, but it doesn't look red. Why? Maybe I need to make it thick, thicker. Font. Okay, let's try to bigger fonts. And then background. Oh, there's no. Uh, instead of this, I can put some images. Yeah, and shadows. So this is basically one screen of the app, right? Correct. If you want to go to, like, you press Next this. Next screen, then. Yes, but let's say uh, you press this button, Echo, for example. You press this button, you want to go to another screen, another. You have to. You could do that, one, but, right? but we're going to play on the same screen. On the same right screen. Right now, yeah. Yeah, but you yeah. Remember you remember when we did the, in the PHP, we clicked the link and then we had another screen? Exactly. We can do Everything that. Everything right? is possible, yeah. Here also. Um, you can go back to, you can go to another, uh, open up another uh, screen and another screen yeah, and another yeah, screen and, create, and then yeah. there is and a back button so you can come back to, uh, like I this is exactly the same app that you can get. Right. Oh. And if you want to see how it works, then click on this mm -hmm. top uh, left. There is a black triangle. Mm -hmm. Click on that. The play button. Play button so that is that too big? Oh, this this is too big. I need to change this. It's iPhone 7. Oh my god. Oh, the new version? See here we can change it. This is uh, right now on uh, iPhone 7 Plus. So this is too big. We it can change it. Is it iOS? Or what does it, it mean? It is iOS. Yeah, no, no, I understand, but that when it's iPhone 7 Plus, it means the latest iOS. Because Correct. Still yeah. in 6, you can put the latest iOS, right? Newly, see this is uh, I, this is what we designed, mm -hmm. right? That appears. 
You can go up and down. Like because this is initially downloaded, so it, it takes time. Oh. But after once this is downloaded, it, it's okay. I think it's too big. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somewhere here. So that you can type hello, uh, echo. Of course, nothing happens. Yeah, right, yeah. because we, we didn't do anything. Yeah, we uh, right now, we have a view only, but there is no controller. Yeah. That's what we need if to we do. If we want to have multiple pages, then we go, we go to, the, to the website. In the beginning, when we had one yeah, page, we can see here there's an arrow. Mm -hmm. uh, on left, there is nothing. So this is the entry point. So from here to another, if you click this, then go, uh, open up another yeah, page. Yeah, if you click saying. another, then open up another page. Then that arrow goes from here there, and that arrow goes from the uh, another, and finally come back here. So all. Uh, uh, the visual visualization of your uh, view development uh, appears uh, on this pane, in the middle pane, uh, later. But I'm going to I'm going to close this, stop this, and I'm going to change this to smaller. Usually. iPhone SE is better. Yeah. So if we if we re-click that, then it'll be much nice. See, already small yeah, size. Smaller size. Yeah, yeah. If you directly connect your phone here, and the emulator uh -huh. it, instead of choosing this, but uh, somewhere here, the so real uh, your device device name, mm -hmm. then then it come up uh, your uh, real cell phone, and that uh, will exist on your cell phone. All right. So one question: If we build an app like this, does it have? Do we have to specify in what kind of phone? What kind of iPhone has to you be? Can, you can change it at any time. So it is not. No, no, I'm saying like. This is an emulation purpose. Yeah, but the, it is not. It is not a fixed. It is not fixed to, to that uh, specific uh, uh, phone. Yeah, but the thing is, some functions for a seven are not available for six S or six. Then it is. Then it is. It is the problem. No, it's, it's up on the screen. But it's up on the screen. The screen size, that's what I'm saying. If I create an app, because we had uh, in PHP when we did, there was a, a function to no, fill it's not the screen. It's, and it's, I'm it's saying not like this that. One. It's much, much, uh, much, much nicer than. No, that. I understand. But is there a, funct a function to fit, like when you open iPhone 7? For iPhone 7, you saw how big was the screen? You know, and then we had to move up and down to see, to see enter name and to see echo. Is there a function that even if we build it for iPhone 7, for example, if we download this app on an iPhone 5, do we have to scroll on the, on the iPhone or it's going to fit in the screen perfectly? That's what uh, I'm asking, you know what I mean? Right, that is another, I know what you mean. Um, yeah, that is another. Like, like, like Google, when you open Google on, on the yeah. desktop, it fits perfectly. And if that is another, it fits perfectly. another way that we can here, fix it. If you go here, Press here, and then you see like a, like yeah. even, even orientation. Yeah, if you're gonna mm -hmm. make a poker game, which I'm yeah, trying yeah. to do one day, like you need to go here because you can play like you know. Yeah, but is it even that's the what I'm sizes? Saying. Yeah, but you can is see it, here. Look. No, 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 no. I understand, but let's let's say we make for this phone. All right, we make right now the app. I develop the app and make it and everything. Put it to App Store, but in next day, but you have an iPhone Seven, for example. You you download for iPhone Seven. Then you have to oh, then yeah. scroll oh, up and oh, down to that. see the full screen. You know what I mean? Uh, it's not. It's not automatically. Or, it's not automatically. But, but uh, there is some other. I know which. Uh, uh, 
full screen. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm asking. Somehow, somewhere. Because when he opened iPhone 7, he had to scroll up to see the enter name and echo. Then yeah, that's actually that feels a little question how people actually how apps to work or whatever how they know which iPhone you have and I don't know how it works to be honest. No, in the code we have to specify because like in, when we did in the PHP we had to specify the code to make it fit with all the strings. Like because in oh, the you beginning make, you make like a, uh, like a loop, right? Yeah, in, in the beginning in, when he taught us, it, I was using we were using a big a big a big desktops in the class. And it was fit good. When I went home and downloaded from my computer, oh my god, it was so bad because I had to scroll so much. But, but then we found a function on, on these three schools to, to make it fit. Uh, well, there's no magic. Um, no, no, I know. There's no magic. <laughs> there's some kind of tool. Uh, yeah, it should be something. Yeah, everything should be done uh, by programmer. Uh, but I know uh, something that you can uh, adjust, you can make it adjustable, but uh, not for all. Yeah, but uh, if you don't know, for example, you have an iPhone, let's say uh, iPhone seven, and I have an iPhone five. If we don't know, uh, okay, let's let's if, stop here, and then uh, we can take a break while you are talking. Okay, so uh, keep talking. That's fine. Like if we don't know the uh, program, like let's say uh, Snapchat, it's gonna fit in all the phones the same, even if it's seven inch, or it's six inch, or five inch, it's gonna fit the same. It's going to be full screen. Right, we, we know that, but uh, it's not automatic. Right. Let me stop this. It's not, right? Yeah. It's, it's very hard to see. I want to stop my recording. Yeah, unless otherwise the students cannot see, right? I want to stop recording. This is the one. Oh, here. Stop it. Okay, so as we looked at uh, the, the emulation of this, uh, there's nothing that we, we can see it, right? Although we type it. So what we need to do, uh, where is my mouse? Oh, thank you. Okay, so we need to click this so that we can see all the components. We click this and echo more. Uh, back to Edmund's uh, the question. Uh, The better programmer, what better programmer can do is uh, to make, for example, this echo button, this is a simple example, this is not a real yeah. example, but uh, let's say if this is changes, then, I mean, the, because depending on the model, depending upon uh, uh, the phone model, uh, could be different size, uh, different height and width, uh, therefore, the current uh, well-organized uh, the arrangement uh, may not fit in uh, the future, right? Yeah. So because of that, uh, there's another thing that, that we use here. Uh, for example, stack. Oh yeah, stack. So. Uh, horizontal stack and virtual stack uh, it, instead of uh, populating uh, this graphical components directly to the container but we first define the stack view bring this uh, horizontally and vertically which can contain another vertical and horizontal stacks 
So, so we can place the graphical components into a particular stack and stacks are also uh, constrained uh, among the layers uh, and then stacks, for example, stacks are fully uh, stretched to the left margin and, and right margin and upper bound and lower bound. So which size of uh, the future uh, devices that applies? Uh, left, uh, left margin is, uh, is all the way to left and right margin is all the way to right, right and upper bound and lower bound. And between the stack components here, then you can have uh, some ratio. So this is a uh, 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 one to two ratio and, and three to four ratio. So it doesn't really matter therefore uh, the, the, the size, but uh, proportionally it can be organized. If you program that way, so Apple uh, Swift provides you to uh, 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 define that way. For example, here uh, is this okay? Add new construct. This is online. For example, if I click this online, oh no, not this. Yeah, for example, right now, this echo uh, is from top margin is 101 and left from left to uh, 139, from right to 158, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, but we can change this to, for example, all the way 0, 0, 0, and then somehow, somehow you can, this is a fixed number, but... Uh, but we, we can change it uh, in some other ways. Next step is this. We need to, we need to link this to somehow, somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. In order to do, for example, we need to work on this uh, view controller. If I click this view controller, then I have entire uh, separate uh, the, uh, the editor. But if I click this storyboard, then it's own uh, storyboard. But in programming, we need to uh, put this storyboard and, and coding list side by side so that we need to link them together. How can you do? If you put, if you see up here, then there is a uh, uh, two circles together and annotation there is a show the assistant editor. So if you click this, then very nicely that, that you have uh, uh, this storyboard and, and the coding list. If you want to, if you do not want to show this, oh, that's okay. If you do not want to see this uh, navigator pane, then you can push here on, on the upper left to upper right corner. If you click this, then all the way push. And here, if this editor, if this is uh, really complicated, therefore, uh, for the time, you do not need to use this uh, uh, utility pane, then you need to push this all the way there. If you click this, then you can bring it. Click this all the way back, okay? So in this way, you can uh, work a little better. Okay, so in your program, what you need to do is that uh, if this is click, uh, I mean this is uh, is the user uh, input. So you need to take this user input, right? Mm -hmm. If uh, this button is clicked, and then you need to write it somewhere here, right? So you need to also uh, make another space. Right now we didn't do that. In order to do that, then you need to click that, and then we need to have another label. So, label, bring this label up here. OK. 
okay and then we simply leave it like that okay so what what we need to link here is that this is a text field so that your program needs to read something from there this is a label that you want to copy user entered the data to that label oh. here this, so this is a, this is also that you need to do and another component here this is the button so that you need to do something here so three components needs to be linked connected to this code what about this so this is in one screen right yeah one screen in one screen to connect mm -hmm. this uh, you don't need to do right this guy is just a prompt uh, just messaging this code does not need to know and uh, if you want to change this then then you need to use this so how can I do that so click this each one of this will do that each one of this so right now click this uh, and then uh, you need to hold down control button and then I'm going to drag and drop in between this. This is a class definition. And then there is a function. If you bring this inside the function, then this will be the function variable. It should be the class variable. So it should be outside the function, but within the class. So there is a, some space here, right? If you want to do, then you can make it a little wider space and we can link this. So, so hold down control button and bring that here. See, there's very nicely. What is uh, it says, insert outlet action and outlet collection. Right now, I didn't, I didn't release buttons. So if I release button, then it asks me, there is a outlet outlet which means uh, it is not an action right uh, in what case that we need to uh, click action instead of an outlet text field yeah type text then you can you can filter it. Which text file? Which? No, text field. Just text field. TEXT. Do you get it? Which one should we... Oh, yeah. and one question. So Hold on, let me finish this. <laughs> <laughs> name of that. This is a variable name. Okay? So I can say, usually, uh, if it's text field, my uh, uh, tip, I start with the uh, TF, TF for text field, followed by the name that you want to uh, put uh, within, I mean, uniquely defined uh, in this uh, application. So TF for text field, and then you can say uh, username, right? And the next one is type, uh, UI text field. What is UI text field? Okay, it's the type for that uh, text field and storage you don't have to worry about and then simply click on the connect button watch then what happens programmed it uh, for you it says uh, at sign IB outlet which means it's not an action and the week that we, we didn't click uh, right and this is variable Variable name is tf username colon 
UI text field, and then finally uh, X columnation mark. This is very very uh, uh, friendly. Old version X columnation mark uh, is not really provided. What do you mean by X columnation mark? X culmination mark means there will be a this is this will be a text on the value holder, so oh, the value oh, yeah, yeah, value yeah, will be yeah, will be there, and this is a name, so this is already defined. Uh, similarly, we can do this label. So hold down control button and bring that up here. And then in this case, there is a label, so we can see LB, and then I can say output, and then click connect. IB stands for interface builder. Interface builder. Okay. Uh, there is a namespace. Uh, long time ago, defined by uh, Objective-C. So, so we don't have, you can type this manually. You can do that, but uh, you don't need to. Well, Finally, we'll do echo button. Echo button. Label here, from here. I created a, another label. Right. You probably need to uh, bring this label. My question is, uh, if you just write a code, you're not very good at Google, right? Like, you, you keep typing. For example, with Google here, so we got the already code and everything. No, you, sh you should have this. Yeah, but, uh, right. This this is th uh, um, he's right. If we write just no, no. He, your question is without this, yeah. you simply type this. No, it's not. It's not. It's not going to work. Yeah. What if we had two labels and we just write the code? How can we mark which label we want to use? Let's say we have two labels here. One here, one here. But we need this label to do this for this one, and then another text, this label here, for example, to do for another text. If we just want to write the code, how it's going to know which label we use? That, that is the reason that we link. Oh, we link so from we here, there. To, yeah, right. it's the best way to use it is to click it and link right. it there, right? Otherwise, uh, uh, yeah, if you, if you mix it, mm -hmm. then uh, your program uh, does not work. Any simple things that not uh, uh, properly uh, organized or cleaned out, uh, your emulator is not working. So all should, this is a compiler based, it's not interpreter. So everything should be uh, perfectly uh, valid. So whatever we type here doesn't go automatically here, right? So for example, we change the color of this, we enter this one. We put the box here, the I mean the millimeters and it, all these stuff. The bottom here doesn't go when we run it. Doesn't go automatically to the code. No, no. So even the color we have to do in the code now, for example. Oh no 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 no. That's that's already done. All the uh, the the view. Yes. View is done. Should be done in that storyboard. And it doesn't have to be in the code. No, the code is just connect connect. Things connection, together. yeah, connection, so that anything that you need to control, yes, control, mm -hmm. then you need to connect uh, between those two controller and the storyboard. So even but if you the view picture, itself, view itself has nothing have... to do with the controller. So so once you define that, then it is there. Wow. Yeah, color, size. Yeah, size. Uh, whatever. And if you add yeah. something else, add, a, mm -hmm. add a, another right. thing here, or a different picture exactly, from here right. and down. It's not. Uh, to the code. Yeah, some other uh, 
uh, for example, Python programs, then, then you have to do everything. Yeah, I know. In PHP Java too, program, then you have to do everything, yeah, in right? In PHP, we had to do right. it. And then in the code, we, exactly. we could do this much millimeters right. on this side, this much in the code. Right. So but it not, changes here. Not uh, iPhone programs. Wow. Which means it's much, much faster yeah, and easier. Easy. Right. And also Way so easy. beautiful. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> this is very, very important. This is. This is action needs to be involved, right? Because this is a button. The copy, our scenario is this. When user enter the name and click uh, echo button, then that should be copied in, that, in this position label. That's what we want to do right now, mm -hmm. right? So, same thing. Holding down the control button. But in this case, you have to this is a, this is a, action means, uh, it's not variable, action means, uh, I mean, button, button is an action, because it is an action, it is, a, it is not just a variable, but a function. You see that? It should be the function. So, watch this. I need to, I need to, you Switch action, this right? to action, yeah, not action. outlet. See, so right. this is all IV outlet, but when I do this, then it'll be something else, okay? So name for that is, again, if it is a button, start, start with the BT, then you I can, can say any name, right? Any name, right? Oh. This is just a variable. So echo, yeah. and then type uh, uh, UI button, yeah. You right. can do UI button or you can do any. By default, that is any. So that is, uh, let's put the uh, UI button. And then uh, touch, see here, a lot of uh, options. You want to do, uh, <clears throat> you want to take that action when touch is up inside. You want to take that action uh, if uh, uh, value changes. Or touch it, drag, exit, or it's all different uh, mouse movement. Okay, this is a mouse movement. So we don't do. We simply uh, touch up inside. Okay, that is default. Oh, yeah, so yeah, we don't yeah. we don't do that. Uh, and then we don't do much other but uh, connect. Okay. So they are connected right now. So what you need to do is now very simple. Uh, I want to enter here label, right? What is the variable that I made? Label is my output. Uh, no, not my output. LB output. So that I said LB. Then automatically it says output, right? right? So I click this. And then dot text. In that text, I'm going to put... Oh, you, uh, UI, uh, I mean, TF, TF username, right? Username. So whatever is in the TX username is going to go up. Dot right, right, right. text. Nice. So whatever I yeah. get from this uh, area uh, should be assigned to this area, but to that text. Can we switch them? Do TF username first, I mean the text first. Uh, then uh, whatever appears here, no, then this go back to here. Oh, then this is going to go here. Right. Good. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Yep. So let's run it. So if we say Morsi an echo. This is this is Morsi but uh, oh, the width okay, the width okay, yeah, the width. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Okay? Nice. It's very simple. Code yeah. is very simple, right? See how, how much we did we did. This whole yeah. thing is it's not it's not really if you if it's you program code. this in a, in another language, then you have a very long uh, coding list. 
How many lines did we do? Actually, we'll four just, lines. But actually, what we did by ourselves is just one, just the last one. Yeah, yeah, just only, yeah, only, yeah, only, only one yeah, statement. We wrote. All yeah. others are dragon jar. Yeah. yeah. Simple, right? Why? Fast. Continue. Are you following? Yeah. Oh, you done? Peter. I think we'll we'll stop uh, this much for today. Okay. All right. So we'll we'll uh, we'll continue to do uh, next. Next week. Next week. So class. Next week, uh, class will be here. So don't forget to. Once you have this, there's no way that you can close this. See, there's no uh, a red button to close this. Instead, if you if you rerun rerun this, then you will have eventually so many emulators. So your uh, hard your uh, uh, laptop uh, may have some uh, uh, the memory issue, yeah. from my experience. So that once you done, then click this so that, what is this? So stop. stop the running. Click this, then you can redo as you wish. And this All right? is saved in, in, in a folder, everything, right? In, in two, Initially, we already uh, assigned yep. where we yeah. want to save. So it is automatically saved. That's it for today? Yeah, this is for today. See you next week. Are there tutorials in week three school? Like how?